All right, so uh, top 10 easiest tricks. If you can't do these tricks, you need to get out and learn to do them because they're holding you back, all right? Number one, half rev. I didn't really want to put half rev on this list because it's not really a trick. Like a lot of people, when they learn to bunny hop, they accidentally do a, a half rev. So if you are doing bunny hops and you cannot half rev, please get out there and learn this trick right now. Number two, leg wrap mount. This is one of the first tricks that I teach people. A lot of people call it side mount or leg around if you like to do it from the pedal. It's a really easy trick and it builds a good foundation for a lot of static tricks that you'll learn later on. Number three is 180 twist. It's not really the easiest trick and if you're doing it rolling or if you're riding out backwards, it's, it is a lot harder. But if you're just doing it from static, it's a pretty easy trick. Number four is no footer. Now you can do these like really little baby no footers to start with, but once you get good at that, you wanna try and throw your legs out as much as possible, all right? It's a really good warm up trick for uni spins and also crank flips. Number five, foot plants. Pretty much my favorite trick. Uh, you can do them everywhere. You can get really creative. There's a million variations. For every trick there is, there's like three variations of that trick in a foot plant version. So if you want to expand your bag of tricks, I definitely recommend foot plants. You can just, you can just get ridiculous, do some stupid stuff with foot plants. So yeah, have some fun. Number six is one foot riding. It's a pretty easy trick. It's difficult for some people. Some people, they learn it straight away. So for some people, it's their first trick. The key to doing a good one foot ride it's just to ride as fast as you can, lean forward and take your front foot off. Once, once your foot rolls around to the front, just boop, throw it out for a second, put it back on, continue riding. And then you just gotta get used to that momentum of riding as fast as you can, take your foot off and let the momentum carry you forward. Number seven is the seat drop. It's kinda hard, but all you need to do the seat drop is to be able to jump on your cranks. It's gonna help if you can jump, jump seat in front. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Number eight is the tire hop or 90 uni spin. 90 up or a 90 down, doesn't really matter. They're both kind of on the same level. And when you can do one, you can do the other. You can also learn uh, 90 up and then blind back down. That's blind is when you go the opposite direction that you originally learned something. So you can go up the way that you're comfortable and then go back down the other way. It's kind of sketchy, but it helps a lot of people. Number nine is the rev, the ever versatile rev. It's a really cool trick, uh, especially if you can't crank flip. And it's also a good warm up trick for the crank flip. So yeah, definitely recommend the rev. And number 10, it's not really an easy trick, but I mean, it should be an easy trick. I know guys that can't ride a unicycle, but they can do a 180 uni spin. So pick up the slack if you can't already do a 180 uni spin. Just put on some shin pads uh, and just go hard. What's the worst that could happen if you put on some shin pads and maybe even a helmet? Mate, if you have to, if you really have to. All right, that's, it's over. 10 tricks.